Black Belt in Taekwondo and today I'm going to be showing you how to kick higher. If you are new to this series of videos, I put together a 7 day workout guide so you know what to do every single day of the week to get your kicks higher. It has stretches and drills so make sure that you check out the link in the description below so you can download that and follow along. Make sure that before you get started you do an awesome warm up to get those muscles nice and loose so we can avoid injuries and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for our first stretch make sure you have some room. We're going to start off with what's called a frog stretch. So for the frog stretch, what you're going to do is you're going to go on your knees, put your hands down in front of you, and you're going to just take your knees out as far as they can go. You want to try and keep your feet directly behind you, so mine are trying to, um, they're facing towards the wall right now, and you're just trying, going to try and get your hips down as close to the ground as you can. Hold for 20 seconds. If you want, you can even bring your chest down, so go down to your elbows, and just hold for 20 seconds. Ready? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go a little further if you can. Try and push those hips down to the ground. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to show you this from a different angle. I'm going to go sideways. So a couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing this frog stretch, you don't want your hips so far forward because you're going to kind of lose the stretch. You want them right in line with your knees and try and bring your body down, try and get as flat to the ground as you can. The next stretch that we have is called a pike stretch. For a pike stretch, you're going to turn sideways, you're going to bring your legs as far out as you can go and if you see something that I like to do is put my hands here and just scoop my butt back a little more, it's going to remind me to keep my back straight. Keep those knees straight and just try and reach down as low as you can go. Try and keep your back straight. Don't get all curvy just because you want your head to go closer to your knees. Try and keep it straight and rather than going straight down, you want to think about going long and forward in front of you. So let's go ahead and hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. And you're gonna wanna do that for about 20 to 30 seconds, a couple of sets. Okay, the next stretch is gonna be the wall splits facing the wall. Okay, so I was actually editing this video and I realized somehow I missed recording the wall splits, so I'm gonna show you that one really quick. So pretty much you need to find a wall like this and put both of your legs out in the middle splits. And you're just going to try and keep your feet touching the wall and try and get yourself as close to the wall as you can. Just keep scooting in until your face is basically uh, next to the wall. And just hold it here for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Usually around ten I try and get myself a little bit closer, a little bit further in the stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's all for wall splits. Okay, we have one more stretch before we move into our drills, and this is called the hamstring stretch. So for the hamstring stretch, I'm going to turn sideways like this. We've done this one before. You're just going to bring your ankle up to your knee like this, the back of your knee, and you're going to just try and get this um, ankle as close to your chest as you can and just hold it here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try and get it a little bit closer to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. You're going to want to do both legs a couple sets on each side. Okay, so now moving on to the drills. If you've watched some of my videos before, you're going to know that I love doing an exercise called belt kicks. Um, pretty much you're going to need your belt, you're going to grab it, you're going to put it in half, and then you're just going to tie a knot like this. Okay, now you have a loop and you can also tie a knot up here if you feel like if you want kind of like a handle to grab onto to make it a little easier. 
pretty much what you're gonna do is so make sure that you have a wall that you can hang on to. You're gonna grab the belt and put your foot through the loop and grab onto the other side. We're gonna use the belt to kind of help us practice our kicks and use the wall so that we don't have to worry about balance. We just have to worry about getting our kicks nice and high and getting used to what that feels like doing it with power. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with side kicks. What I want you to do is lift your chamber up as high as you can go, hold onto the wall with one hand, and you're gonna shoot your side kick out as high as you can go. Then you're gonna hold it one, two, three, come back in, do it again, ready? Shoot it out. One, two, three, back in, shoot it out. One, two, three, back in. You can also do this with roundhouse kicks. Do about 10 on each side. And if you think 10 is too easy, then go ahead and up it to as many as you like. And if it's too hard, go ahead and lower the quantity. All we want is making sure that this is an exercise that helps you whatever level that you are at. Make sure that you also try this out with roundhouse kicks. The same thing, you're just gonna shoot out that roundhouse kick instead and it looks like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, the next exercise that we have is something called infinity figures. So for an infinity figure, pretty much you're just gonna be making a little infinity sign like this with your foot. You're gonna once again be holding onto the wall so you don't have to worry about balance. All you have to do is worry about strengthening and getting that flexibility in your kicks. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. Hold onto the wall, lift up your foot in either a roundhouse kick or side kick stance, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a roundhouse kick. And all you're gonna do is make a figure infinity like this. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All the way to about 10, more or less, depending on what level you're at. Let me show you one more time on the other side from a different angle. Leg is up and you're just gonna be making an infinity sign like this. Okay, the next drill is called a kick hold. For a kick hold, you're just gonna be doing the same thing that you did with the belt kicks, except for this time, you're gonna go ahead and try it without the belt. So go ahead and hold onto the wall. I'm gonna be showing you this with roundhouse kicks. You're gonna shoot the kick out, hold for three seconds, then chamber back in. So I have my chamber up, kick it out. One, two, three, bring it back in, out. One, two, three, back in, out. One, two, three, back in. Remember, you can do this with roundhouse kicks, side kicks, hook kicks, front kicks, whatever kick it is that you're wanting to increase your flexibility with. And those are kick holds. Okay, this last drill is called high kicks. This is pretty self-explanable, explanable, explainable. This is pretty self-explanatory. And basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kick in the air as high as you can go, trying to get those kicks nice and high and sharp, just practicing what the actual move is, what the end goal is, and those are high kicks. So I'm gonna do a couple of roundhouse kicks and side kicks just to kind of show you what they are like. So start off in a nice fighting stance. You're gonna go ahead and do a kick as high as you can go. Keep it sharp. Make sure that you don't sacrifice technique or anything for that height. Just do a good, strong kick. I'm gonna start off with a roundhouse kick. Make sure you control your arms. You don't want floppy airplane arms. Control your landing as well. You don't wanna be falling as you're landing. Let's try a couple more. One. Two, three. Remember, choose how many repetitions and sets you wanna do depending on how you feel your level is at. All right guys, that is all for today's video. Make sure that you click the link in the description below if you wanna download the PDF with every single day's stretches and exercises so that you can just check them off as you go along. Make sure to keep up the hard work. Let me know in the comments below if these exercises and stretches are helping you out. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of our next tutorials. See you guys later.